In this question, we're asked to determine the inductance of a coil. We're told the permeability of the coil is 0.25 by 10 to the power minus 3 henrys per metre. Let's start by reviewing the information that's given to us within the question. We are asked to calculate the inductance L. We are told the permeability of the core, we'll use the symbol mu, is equal to 0 0.25 by 10 to the power of minus 3 henrys per metre. We are also shown here that the length is 1.5 centimetres, so the length L equal to 1.5 centimetres, which when we convert to metres is equal to 0 0.015 metres. We are shown here that the number of turns is equal to 350, so turns N is equal to 350. The diagram also shows us that the diameter of the inductor coil is 0 0.5 centimetres. So we're able to calculate the radius R as being half that, so 0 0.5 centimetres divided by 2. And if we convert that answer into metres, we get 0 0.25 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 2 metres. Now that we've calculated the radius, it's possible to calculate the area using pi r squared. So that's equal to pi times 0 0.25 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 2 metres squared. This gives us an answer of 1.96 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 5 metres squared. We now have all the information required to calculate the inductance L. This is calculated by the number of turns squared times the permeability times the area all divided by the length L. So plugging in the values, that gives us the number of turns squared, that's 350 squared, times the permeability, which is times 0 0.25 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3 henrys per metre, times the area, which is times 1.96 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 5 metres squared. All this is divided by the length, which is 0 0.15 metres. Completing that calculation, gives us an answer for the inductance L of 40 microhenries.